All right, so this is a demonstration of changing the ligand on a copper ion. We have complex ions we're going to make today. Our ion that we're using is copper plus two. I'm starting with copper chloride. So I'm going to add some copper chloride. Now, this copper chloride is a hydrate, meaning it already has a, a, a color in it. So if you have salts that have color, it must mean that there's already water in the crystal interacting with the copper ion. So uh, this is called copper um, chloride dihydrate, meaning there are two water molecules already in the crystal. So the oxygen end of the um, water molecule is being drawn into and interacting with the copper's uh, d orbitals and splitting them so that this crystal is absorbing parts of the spectrum. Okay. Now, uh, I'll add some more here with the hay. Um, and it's not perfect unless I spill some. Okay. Now, so you can see that crystal already has a color. Now, you remember last year, we used copper sulfite um, pentahydrate that had five waters, and that was a blue crystal. And you guys basically heated that crystal until it went all white. It'll be all white. Okay, now you, you kept massing the hydrate out until it became the anhydrate, and the color change, you lost the color, not because you lost the transitional element, you lost the ligand that was interacting and splitting the Ds. So what I want you to uh, observe is I want you to observe the initial color change. This should give me a dark green. When I add a little water here, the predominant ion in the solution is going to be chloride ions. And the chloride ions, being negative, are going to be drawn into copper's um, d orbitals. So when I first pour this, we should see a real dark green color initially. If I add too much, then the water becomes the uh, a predominant ligand, and that changes the splitting in the d orbitals. Therefore, it changes the gaps. So I'm going to add some water, hopefully, into, all right, okay, and I'm not sure, we see, we see a dark green color, yeah? Mm -hmm. At the bottom, it's green. But there is certainly a darker color, yeah? Um, maybe I need to change the angle. It's still mostly It's still green, but is it the same green as the color of the crystal? So it, it, it's changed the color. So by me putting a little bit of water and exposing some chloride ions by some dissolving here, hydra uh, hydration, I have chlorine ions are now the predominant ligand around the copper ions, and that changed the color. But now as I pour more water, what happens to my color? Okay, well, it's not on there, but you can see live. So as I pour water, what's happening? Why is there a color change? Because now I have water being the predominant ligand onto the copper. And by changing the ligand, I change the amount of splitting. So this is going from green to blue. So what's happening actually is probably the gap is getting smaller, okay, to give off this uh, retransmission of these photons. So by adding more water, I made the color change. So we're getting back to the original color of the what? The hydrate, right? The hydrate had a certain color because it was the oxygen that was penetrating the d orbitals. By me adding water and releasing some of the hounds, which are the chloride ions, the chloride ions acted differently. There's still some uh, chloride ions in here. <laughs> Top is still on the bottle, okay. <laughs> and I can dissolve all of those, 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 uh, these ions here, and we can get that nice blue green color. Okay, color blind is tough. All right. Now, so we saw two color changes. We had copper uh, uh, chloride as chlorine ions as the ligand splitting the d orbitals and now we have the water but now I'm going to change the ligand one more time okay now I'm going to add some ammonia now adding ammonia I'm adding NH3 I'm changing the ligand again so therefore ammonia is going to change this color because it's going to change the gap the splitting in the D's okay
and you get that royal blue color, you're going to have some, of course, precipitation. But that blue, royal blue color that you see on the top there, okay, is where that Russian blue color there, that's the result of the ammonia, okay? And that changed the ligand, changes the color, and that's the classic copper ammonium uh, complex. Okay, enough of that.